it's gonna get better, right? <laughs> Hi, I'm Janelle Elian, founder of Straighten Up by Janelle, and I'm a professional organizer. So I've always been super organized. After doing favors for friends and family, I just kind of fell into organizing. I posted before and afters on social media, and I haven't stopped ever since. I really love professional organizing because it's not just a physical transformation of people's space. It's also a really emotionally transformative experience. Welcome to my closet! I'm Yay. so nervous. <laughs> this is like my only storage area that I have. Mm -hmm. Like I have my camera bag in here, like mm -hmm. toilet paper. <laughs> I have like my softbox lights for my videos and pants and my wigs. Mm -hmm. And then like my clothes. I'm so bad at folding, so I just stuff it everything in my um, yes. drawers. So what's the thing that you're most nervous about though? Um, I think getting rid of things because okay. I like to hold on to things that are comfortable. I'm much a person who I'm like, I will buy this thing because I want to wear it at home. Yep. And I think I'm trying to level up my style and, and yeah. feel good about myself, you know, outside and I need more clothes for yeah. that. So here's our game plan. You ready? So okay. we're switching your hangers to okay. the space saving. We're going to refold everything in your drawers and it's gonna all make sense what's okay. in here. Okay. All of this stuff is gonna come down. We're gonna do some baskets on these shelves and maybe your shoes. All of these things that are unrelated to your closet but need to be stored, we will either put in a basket or we will do under bed storage labeled clearly with your equipment and whatnot. This is an interesting closet and a lot of closets in older houses, specifically in LA, have this. They have little window sills and weird little architectural things. Mm -hmm. They serve no purpose. Like big <laughs> platform thing. Right. I don't even know what it is. <laughs> you can't put anything in it. You can just put stuff on top of it. So it takes a lot of space. Right. Um, and it's just like opportunity for me to dump yeah, on there. I like call a place like that a catch-all. Yeah. Everybody's got a catch-all, whether it's a drawer or on their desk. And the way to avoid having a catch-all is to make it have a purpose. Okay. So we're gonna make that hopefully your makeup station. Mm -hmm. okay. Half of these clothes are like always in a suitcase because I'm traveling. Right. So like I never really see them. But now I'm seeing like Oh, they don't fit. The key to having a clean closet and having an organized space is having the right amount of stuff for the space that you have, which I know is gonna be difficult because you used to live in a place where you had a big mm -hmm, closet, mm -hmm. so you're really downsizing, which you don't necessarily wanna downsize your wardrobe just because you're downsizing your space temporarily. But at the same time, you're gonna have a lot of things going to waste because mm -hmm. you won't be able to see them. So that's what we're gonna fix. If we did all of that yesterday in my place, like what are the wonders that we're gonna make happen in here? Like I'm excited to see what I can do to yep. utilize this space. I feel like this is a challenge because it's a small space. Oh no, it's good, we can do it. We're gonna start with going through your clothes. Okay. Because we're gonna take all the hanging stuff out. We're gonna put it in a pile. We're gonna go through it one by one. As you decide what you wanna keep, we're gonna switch the hanger. Things that you're not sure of, we'll put in a pile and then the donation. Ready? Oh, okay, it. oh my God, I'm so nervous. Take a deep breath. You're gonna feel so good when yes. it's done. This I have not worn but it's like vintage. I like want to wear this, but I like never can find anything like an opportunity. How long have you had it? A couple months. I'd say yes. Why? Because it's cute and it's me and I like just, it was in the back of my closet. Okay. This is a yes. Okay. My favorite dress. Everything's going to be yes, yes, yes. <laughs> this is a yes also. Okay. I love sweaters. <laughs> Okay. I think it's gonna, well, like, we'll see is we'll see how many sweaters you end up with and if you end up with a billion sweaters Then you can get rid of a few. Yeah, this is a yes. Okay. It's a good color. You, I know you love yellow This I'm not like in love with Okay, bye <laughs> <laughs> You're really good <laughs> because I will convince big, myself. Yeah, this is a yes. Okay, cuz I love this fact I okay. feel like I have to specify why you don't have to <laughs> You don't have to validate it to anyone but yourself. This I like recently bought and I tried it on and I didn't like it. Okay, bye. This is a yes. Okay. I will probably have like a lot of yellow things. Yeah, you told me that yesterday. Yeah. This is a yes. Okay. <laughs> this is my favorite shirt. It's a bunny in a basket. Bunny in a basket? It's a freaking bunny in a basket. I feel like I've seen that sweater before. That's my Where sweater. have I seen that sweater? Richard, you're gonna throw in that pile. I'm gonna take it right back because I love I her. I'm not. I'm <laughs> not. This is my favorite banana dress. Specifically banana dress. Because it's juicy couture. I'm fashion gotta, too. Gotta love a good juicy <laughs> moment. This <clears throat> is me. my favorite okay, sweater. Okay. <laughs> it's SpongeBob. I, I mean, I it. love SpongeBob. I'm ready. Yes. Uh, 
Thank you. This I bought, but I don't know what to wear it with, but I know it would look cute. You could wear it with your black skirts, which might be kind of secretary, like black with the white, but you could wear it with just high-waisted jeans. How does it fit you? It fits fine. Yeah, it fine. good. Yeah. There's no... Fine. Great. Good. Okay. Great. You don't have to settle for Super. things that only kind of look good on you. Mm -hmm. Wow, drag me. This doesn't fit me. Bye. This I love. Great. See that difference between like, oh, this doesn't really fit me and this I love. Yes. Um, so basically when you have a bunch of random sh it's important to make it so that it's not random. So mm -hmm. put it into categories that make sense, whether that's important paperwork you need to save, mm -hmm. memorabilia, things that are sentimental. And Crowley's over there with a wing <laughs> on. If it's not within a category and you don't really need it, then mm -hmm. you can get rid of it. Okay, yes. For what? Sentimental. Are these office supplies? Know. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that is, and even like the journal, this is a very sentimental. Sentimental. Insane, it's the classic album. Is the CD even in there? It is. Oh my gosh, like, that's worth money. Collector's item that is sentimental. It's my childhood diary. Look oh at my this. god. Should I read a portion of my childhood diary? Yes, I think you should. I got so jealous because Ivan was showing off to Amber. I still have feelings for him. Why? I don't know. He's like a death you can never forget. Junior high, high school, here I come. LOL. No, that <laughs> was- LOL in all caps with an exclamation point. That is a treasured item. Destiny's Child album, first one. Classic. Chords, let's talk about chords. Get cord wraps that keep the cord together and then label it. Take a piece of painter's tape, a piece of anything, and label it when you take it out of the box so that you're not like, what does this random black cord go to? Because look, we have another cord. <laughs> what does it go to? <laughs> Don't embarrass me right now. It's a friend of my friend. Don't friends. embarrass me in front of my friend. <laughs> what? Really? Are you helping? This is so funny. <laughs> My journal's so funny. Why? Why do I have to get sick? I hate colds. Why? Sweet. Let's get some bins so that we can put that stuff in and then go from there. Great. I feel like I'm like an adult woman grown up. Because like, you know in those like rom-com movies where it's like, I'm just in my early 20s, but she's like fashion, she has everything color coordinated and like everything's on point. But like her love life is a little a mess. That's what I feel like. <laughs> <laughs> wow, we did it! Look at this, this is insane. I cannot believe that like basically everything that was on these shelves already is there, but in like cute boxes. So like, it doesn't stress me out when I see it. I know it's in there because they're labeled and it just is very pleasing to the eye. And like, you can see the pants, the pants are all like color coordinated and everything in the closet. Wow, we freaking did it. And you got rid of a lot of stuff. I got rid of a lot of stuff, like almost two big bags worth. Totally. <laughs> wow, whoa. We repurposed these flat areas so that junk can't just get thrown on top. Mm -hmm. Everything is by style and coordinated and your fun, pretty go-to makeup stuff is right here. And everything is divided in here as well. So in this one, we even have a divider so that um, underwear and socks can be separated. Now everyone can see your underwear and socks. Don't show my freaking underwear. Um, but everything is here. <laughs> I usually like close my closet door because I'm like, I don't want to see anything in there. But now I'm like, leave it open and let all the monsters come out. <laughs> usually like our closets are like, no one's going to see it, who cares? Yeah, Just close it. There. Yeah, with like, hence like the saying of like, coming out of the closet or your skeletons in the closet because nobody sees them. But if you treat it like you're going to have guests over, like, yeah. I think you'll treat it differently as well. Yeah, you know? I'm gonna take everyone straight to my closet first and be like, and hey, this is my closet! That's and I do. <laughs> when I have people over, I'm like, did you see my closet? Did you open my kitchen drawers? What was something that, you know, with Curly, like, he couldn't give stuff away because he saw the beauty and things. What was my kind of, like, challenge today? Well, I think your challenge is less emotional and more just actual space-wise okay. because I think it's hard for you because you literally don't have the space yeah. to have everything that you want to have. I also feel like I was very good at not being too emotional today. You weren't, you weren't emotional. And I didn't cry. <laughs> you were stressed at moments. I was stressed a little, little bit. bit. I didn't expect for this to be so transformative, not only with like the space and the clothes and everything and organizing, but with like my view of things, of like respecting things and putting things back and folding them. It like really opened my eyes to like be like more organized. I am.
Oh I know God. you said your main goal was that you really wanted to embrace this, you know, adult version of yourself. Yeah. And I really feel like this is the perfect start for that. How do you feel? I Great. I do this every day. I know, so she's like, I'm like, let's do it again. Happy. You were very good at like not stressing us out. Mm -hmm. And like when we would get stressed out, like you were very in tune to be like, it's fine, you did it, like great, like little rewards here yeah, and there, like, five. yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I feel like if you don't acknowledge every step of the process, then the end isn't as fulfilling. Mm -hmm. You have to acknowledge, okay, I went through all my shirts and I'm really proud of myself because I didn't want to do that and it was hard yeah. to do that. Yeah. So, I thank you for saying that, I really appreciate it. Yay. Thank you so much, Janelle, for everything. You're so welcome. I hope you enjoy your new closet. I cannot wait to just go in there and sit. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna sit on the floor and be like, this is my closet. All right, so it is more than a week after our closet transformation. One problem that we noticed after the video is that my rod is like leaning a little bit. It's like curving. So we had to take the heavier jackets off and I need to get a stabilizer installed. Because of that, there's stuff on that little window seal. <laughs> and I traveled again. So it's not messy, it's just lived in, let's say that. But I'm about to go through and reorganize it and clean it. After that process, I've learned to like not leave things unattended, basically. And so I'm gonna attend to this situation and not feel bad about it and just, you know, clean it up.